On today's video, I'm going to be reviewing an iron fallout remover from what are the best in the business built Hamber. This is called Corosol, and basically this product is designed to uh, dissolve and uh, remove all of the iron contaminants that essentially uh, penetrate your paintwork, sit there, and are essentially usually left over even after the washing stage. So the test subject is by Abath 5 down 5 Competizione, and basically to get us to this stage where I'm ready for the test, what I have done is already uh, washed the car. I have used Touchless Foam by Bill Hamber and also followed that up with a uh, dose of auto wash and basically got most of the dirt off. I have then dried the panel. And the reason why I've chosen to do that is because Bill Hamber on their Corosol bottle do not actually tell you exactly whether the car should be wet, dry, etc. So I've used my own initiative. Now, what I want to do in this video is just for some sort of now, comparison, um, I'm not just going to review the product on its own, I'm also going to pit it against a sort of independent iron fallout remover um, that I used to use many, many years ago. It's still being left on my shelf, so I thought I'd do it in a little bit of a head-to-head -head just to give us a bit of a comparison. So if I'm looking at the car from a distance, you would think it was clean, but absolutely not. It is absolutely full of these contaminants all over my car. Um, and as you can see, if we just zoom in, hopefully that will pick it up. Uh, there is absolutely tons of iron fallout all over my car so hopefully uh, this test is going to get rid of most of that so what i've decided to do is basically give both of these products two minutes to all time basically because this is the maximum time built hamburg set on their bottle you should leave it uh, to dwell on the panel so what i'm going to do is leave the panels to dwell for that two minutes and then what i'm going to do is just rinse them off uh, using my jet wash i'm not going to do any contact washing at this stage i just want to see how good uh, these products compare and hopefully the corosol will do everything uh, that is, is promised now one thing to mention when it comes to value for money this is a really big bottle so whilst initially when you are looking at it it might look a little bit more expensive when you compare it to the independence like the one i'm testing in this video the fact that with the corosol you get a one liter bottle makes it very good value for money so the fact it's good value for money hopefully uh, it does actually do a really really good job because then it's going to make it a prime contender for me to use it going forward now the reason for this video is previously on my channel I reviewed the built Hamber um, touch less foam and I found it absolutely incredible and basically to the point where it nearly got the car completely clean even without any sort of contact so I thought well if their snow foam does that much of a good job let's test this product out so let's get on with the test then let's get the products on the panel leave them to dwell rinse them off and let's see the results Two minutes later. So my watch is now uh, going off. That means it's been on for two minutes. Um, and obviously that's the maximum the Corosol uh, should be on. So what I'm going to do is just stand at a preset distance, just rinse both of these off, and then just see which one has done the best. Right, so they're both rinsed off so let's just go take a look and obviously the easiest place to check is these little uh, light sensor panels here um, because of course it was quite dirty quite full of contaminants and most importantly of course it's quite easy because it was pretty even so let's just take a quick look but before i do just one quick thing okay when I, obviously i'm just doing this in real time one thing i have noticed is uh, i think the corosol if i'm built hamber just the way that it delivers does seem to get a little bit further because as i was rinsing i was noticing there was quite a lot of uh obviously the purple um sort of color running back off whereas even though we've got a little bit from this size 
okay, because the applicator or the bottle seemed to obviously get the Coruscant in more places, and that's quite evident, the fact that it's still running off. So let's just take a look at the uh, ADS KK one, um, and as you can see, or hopefully you can see, um, obviously I can see it there, um, obviously it has lifted a hell of a lot of it, but there is still quite a bit left it's possibly obviously lifted that much it's made these bits a bit more noticeable but certainly there are some still there and it's still actually quite um hard to be honest with you that would most certainly need a second treatment looking over the panel um again similar sort of story it has lifted a hell of a lot not sure if that's coming up on camera or if it's focusing but again there are still some hard spots um here where it just hasn't been um lifting perfectly but ultimately you know um it has made a difference but as you can see certainly quite a lot still left on the panel hopefully and my camera is picking that up so let's look at the other side then we did with Corusol um and first impressions again maybe could have done with a little bit longer uh, dwell time performance seems very similar let's have a look at of course this light here um, now that does seem better, if I'm honest, across the actual panel, if I compare side uh, by side, this side does seem ever so slightly better, um, having a look at some of the harder spots um, here, I think this would certainly uh, need, if, if I'm not sure if that's focusing, that would most certainly need another, another go, um, whereas this side, again, just seems to be ever so slightly better but again i think this would side would probably need another go as well but this car was incredibly dirty and it has to be said with a lot of contamination on it but uh like i said as you can see that's still uh, running off purple okay whereas that one not so much so that certainly covered um a lot better than what this side did obviously down to the spray bottle but looking at this side again i have to say um that between the two of them it is marginal if I'm perfectly honest with you, um, but looking from this distance, um, that does seem to have done a slightly better job. Most of that uh, from inside my little Nurberg ring sticker seems to have gone, whereas obviously over here, there's still quite a bit left on the panel. Time for a little review, and certainly the Corusol from Belt Hamber seemed to do an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, did it do slightly better than the Independent? I would say so. Uh, obviously I've now gone and done the rest of the car and all of those tricky spots that was uh, sort of proper clinging to the paintwork have most certainly been um, loosened and basically a quick wipe off and most of that contaminants have all come off my paintwork so certainly doing the job it is designed to do. So of course if you did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon.